about you. I didn't sleep a wink. Yeah. You want to like jump into a call for a bit just because like I'm kind of bored and need to talk to someone. I don't need to talk to someone. I like to talk to someone. You can drop the act now. Your majesty. Sister Linda all along? Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking care of that pesky power plunderer for me. Now I'm bursting with energy again, just like old times. And I believe we have some unfinished business. The heroic Sir Hendrik may have escaped my icy embrace. But you won't get away so easily. 
I, I know the spell to seal her away again, but it won't work while she's at full strength. If you can weaken her, I'll see what I can do. We can lob a bunch of fireballs at her, and that's about it. the hell on. I'm calling shenanigans. Your AI is not meant to be that smart. Don't worry, darlings. Still see you. That's not bad on this point. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't want to attack. with some uh, SP.
Mickey's than Boo Boo, better. Serena level up. Woo, she learned multi heal. With that low SP though, that's the thing. Or MP. That leveled up. Actually, Serena has more MP than Rab does. What? He's meant to be like the overall mage. Oh, overall mage, that's why. We leveled up. My internet is being the dumbest piece of crap right now. I'm gonna probably get my. Okay. I need to call the internet company. Here it goes. Pella, Mella, Fell, and Feller. Fabula Ferocious. No. Stop it. Please, anything but that. Helter, Skelter, Bind and Belter, Anima Atrocious, Liba, Claustra, Cabalistic, Hex! Hmm, I wonder how this word is pronounced. Snorri! What kind of scholar are you? Pull yourself together! Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. Liber, Claustra, Cabalistic, Hex Bialidocious! Ah. Uh -huh. No! No, please! Forgive me! I'll do anything! I'll change my ways! I promise! Where am I? Your Majesty! Hmm? Oh yes, I remember now. The witch trapped me in that book and pretended to be me, didn't she? Thank goodness. For a moment there, I was worried the ordeal might have muddled your memory. Fear not, Your Majesty. The witch is sealed away once more. Your 
Majesty. We've been searching for you everywhere. Please, you must come back to the castle. The chuck Thank you so much for saving my kingdom. I must see to it that you are justly rewarded. You need the blue orb, don't you? I heard you talking about it from inside the book. Come and see me at the castle. I will gladly give it to you. As for the grimoire, Snorri, why not give it to me? Hold on a minute, Your Majesty. I don't think you understand just how dangerous that book is. You should let us take care of it. Oh, um, yes, of course. Yes! Another orb to add to the collection! Come on, let's go to the castle and get our reward. Here, I'll let you keep hold of this. Something. I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Come on, let's go. It's 
the book. The voice is coming from the book. Please, you have to listen to me. I am the real Frisabelle. The woman in front of you is the witch. What? Ridiculous. She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her. Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe... She's lying. The wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Everybody calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the... Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm. The orb, you say? Very well, then you will. Now then, what is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one... No! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh, yes? The same trick, really? Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> There's like no second boss fight, right? I think it's just a story bit. I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. <clears throat> Wait! Your Majesty, what are you doing? Queen Frisabel, please step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch! It is in her nature to love. Uh. Everyone, listen to me! It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze the city. But we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Purse is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think. To ready myself to truly rule at last. Please, 
I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She is not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. Hmm. She seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Chrysalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. <laughs> Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty... Pusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you, anything. Free... You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So I did as he asked, and when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Hendrik, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. of this kingdom is its people, and if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Frisabel will be just fine. I plan to take very. I think of that we have all the orbs, don't we? Okay, we got all of them. We can now go to the second half of the game. Oh my god, the second half of the game is a pain in the ass.
The second half of the game, I'm gonna die a lot. I'm just ready for this right now. I didn't mean like I got stuck trying to find where to go, but it's kind of obvious. Dump my money at a bank. At the bank. Ah, you a bank here? Take all my money. Stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! So engrossed in back at the library, Rab. I thought you said it was a spell book. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red handed and red faced. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk. <sighs> Wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. Uh-huh. Well, hopefully someone knew the what articles, was that. The articles, I tell ye! I, I know what it was. And it's funny. I don't know why they point you towards the docks, because you're not going to get to Idrisil by the docks. You can't get there by boat. Uh, let's just side quest that open up to you now. Uh... Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, you can do these on though, like, at any given point of the game, because there's not really anything stopping you from doing them, but... I don't know, it's just a waste of time in my opinion. I know how to do all of them, I just don't care enough. We all unlocked them at best. The only one was a flower. We can probably finish that off really fast. Yeah, you, you're the only one who wants a flower. That can be done super fast. Trevor, do you get more after you get to like the halfway of the game? Cause I think you get more. 
my memory of this is super foggy because this is where the game is gonna probably start feeling like it's a brand new thing for me, even though I know what's coming out. These ones are fairly fast, we'll just get them out of the way then. Okay, I, I know which one this is now.
I'm in time, you mean? Are you talking about those orange light things? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Turn fat up. I say fat ass, but I'm not a fat ass. Oh jeez, what happened since I was gone? It was like pack packing shit for that. Oh, pretty much. Yo, no what? Okay, never mind. False accusation of imagining someone's here.
We are not going to level up anytime soon. This was the place you're supposed to come to. Maybe I'm mistaken? I said travel east, right? So... Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I know where it is now.
another day, another victory. So that was 600. Yup. You're not leveling up anytime soon. Hey, there's four people in chat. Hello, four people. Three people. Came back. Now I feel slightly less lonely. Oh, so good news for people who care about my YouTube and stuff. I got the recording for like the next month done. I'm going to push on just for a bit longer because I want to get even more stuff done, but that's just because A, over accomplisher, B, I just want to get stuff done and out of the way, so I don't have to worry about it much later. Oh, so you couldn't call. I was going to say, I, I don't want to call because I haven't talked to anyone today. Surrender your soul! I guess if you physically can't call it, that's terrible. But this. Wait. Where's the. Where's the EC? I'm confused! Quest log. Yeah. You've been asked to. But they said sail east from there because of pirate Vikings. I feel dumb. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can do these quests at any given moment, so... How about we skip this, come back to it when we're able to, or when I feel when I start feeling less dumb. But we're closing off the first half of the game, I guess? I don't know, I don't know how to call this, because... I actually don't remember how long the game is after this point. I remember it's pretty much like... Story, 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 character, story, uh, character, story, story, story thing. And to sum it up in even uh, less words, shit goes down.
Oh, uh, the game also sat down on record, but ton today was uh, Higher Warriors. So that Let's Play is almost ready to be... Well, I mean, I'm going to publish it regardless. But it's definitely not the next Let's Play, because we just did um, a Zelda one. So when Zelda goes up, this is a bad idea on my part. But I'm going to sit on the next recording for... It goes up tomorrow, and then the next schedule update would be on Sunday. I'm going to jump a bit and say the next upload is going to happen on Monday. Why? Because it just gives you guys a bit of a time of a. It gives you it gives you guys like a day to prep up for the next let's play or something. And plus. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a justifiable reason for why I'm doing it that way. I would I would say I would say to get my uploading track back on my uploading record back on track, but to be fair, I think my channel has enough uploads on it that it could be sufficient for a couple years worth of stuff if you were to sit down and watch some of my LPs. Because the thing is, my LPs are long. I don't think I've done an actual short LP. Well, technically not true, because Zelda 1 was kind of short. And then my hidden upload, not hidden, people know what it, people know what it is, or at least what console's for. Uh, that one's a really short LP. It's also just super concerning considering Hyrule Warriors is uh, a little over 20 parts already. And I didn't think Hyrule Warriors would be over 20 parts. That That's gonna be lovely when I do Fire Emblem Warriors eventually. To be fair, Fire Emblem Warriors, I think I'll have more fun with it in general just because I like the game and I do like the the relationship system and whatnot. And to be fair, I know Fire Emblem uh, Heroes has multiple saves. I'm probably just gonna have to delete my actual save data in that game. You're probably thinking you're an idiot, why would you do that? Uh, say convenience, and also, I actually didn't do all that much in the game that I can't just redo. And then people are going to say, like, oh, what about all those unlockable characters? I get them again. They're not that hard to get. The only one that's a pain in the butt to get is Celica, but to be fair, we don't need Celica for any point of that game. It'll be more of a, hey, let's try unlocking folks. So, I mean, like, there's positives and negatives, and I'm like, you know what? For all the negatives there are, I think I could re enjoy that game with basically getting rid of my save data and just saying, F it. I don't know, I'll think about it. It's, it's one of the games I'm like, I'm cool for game or delete my save data, but I'm also not cool to delete my save data because I put like 45 hours into that game, and that's way more than anyone should really give a damn for. To be fair, the, the main story mode of that game is actually really short anyways, so I mean, a good majority of that was just me playing the maps. Don't mess with a bunny! Oh, I love that line. That, that line in particular, I just love because it's just, it's so dumb.
talk well, don't play. Such a silly line for... I guess she's meant to be more like a super paranoid character and like it does come off as that. But just, just the fact don't mess with a bunny is just hilarious to me. Oh sh! Aha! Not today, you darn dirty pleb. Don't know why I said that. Uh, ooh. I want to ride in the eggs. Give me all the eggs. Decoration, the Egg Fortress. There you go, Savano. Yeah, sure. Do 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 do. Freaking hell it Yay We're at the last leg of the journey for the half game. The next half is gonna be Oh boy. Who would have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail? It's breathtaking. Like you? Oh, there. No. You, you're making me blush. Although I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is? It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers, the ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches, and of Veronica and I. thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. I want to go down there. Oh, great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, 
We thank you. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One, O oh mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arboria. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Every... Uh, as do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not... taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Can it really be? Oh, what a blessed day this is. Not only... Do we welcome a new life into the village? But the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest of Arborea. And I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way. Tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, 
One cent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No. The first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Erdria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. He went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the luminary reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. from Mordekin. I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it.
top.
Encore one for the good guys. I don't talk. I chat. That's why I say I need chat or someone else talking to me because I I really don't know what to bring up. It's just dungeon crawling after dungeon crawling. Things are looking up. I mean, I was making references to Fire Emblem. I know you said that's not it, but still. Yeah, screw it. I was gonna put on something. I mean, it's always slow because I'm playing slow. much for you guys anyway so go ahead just don't go with dodging another kid
Yes, there is. It's actually pretty fun. Ah! Freaking hell. That's bull. All right. You need to do your quest later.
Sorry, I have rhythm heavy music in the background, so like if I start, if I tap my foot like really loud, that's I'm beating to the rhythm of the song. So okay, yeah, tomorrow are we doing the Spl Splatoon thing, Monster Hunter, what, what are we going to be doing tomorrow? I got a lot of free uh, memory on my computer now, I can start recording the Monster Hunter Online stuff that I wanted to do.
trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Huh? Oh. 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 oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it oh, a night, shit. huh? We'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't... Uh, hey, guess what, guys? I can spoil this, and it's gonna happen in a couple minutes. One of them's gonna die. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Hmm. One of them's gonna die. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? No. The high priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? same time so our leaves bloomed at the same time didn't they do you think they'll fall at the same time too mm, I don't know you've always been a bit slow to be honest <sighs> but I hope they do Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Aye, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? Oh. Cool. Yeah, he's still doing stuff. I want the talks.
bridge made of rainbow. Looks like it's finally time for our date with destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep... Hmm. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? Mm. It's so fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but I want to touch. Very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. I am so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. No, laddie. It's time to reach into the heart of Igdra. Only you can do it. Only you. <laughs> I wish Jennifer Parsons was this good. I freaking wish. Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. <laughs> oh, it's a dark or a orb. We had a purple orb, if that counts. There was purple. Can't move. Good. Let us smack you across the eye and give you a black eye or something. Now, 
tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent. Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life shall be your... I think it's impossible to win this fight, no matter what level you are, so, whatever. It is basically smack X until it lose. Back and punch it. Do it. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it. Not one step further, Jasper. Hmm? Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The dark... How long he has deceived us, I do not know, but deceive us he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world! <laughs> Confess, scoundrel! Just how cheaply did you sell your... On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of his majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face... Surprise! You have served me well, Hendrik. Your, your, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? Surprisal. And seizure, apparently. Or stroke, I can't tell. Get a snick.
This is the power of the luminary. The key that unlocks Yggdrasil's heart. Not very fitting for the Lord. I came back just in time. Still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Yeah. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. No matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. Like hell I will! I want to be friends with Jebber again, Mom. What should I do? Why, well, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. Mm. Don't go looking for revenge. Boy. 
Tell that to another protagonist in another game. Seeds. Ugh. Actually, I think this grape's gone bad. Eh, F it. Welcome to fish. Unequivocal miracle! Queen Marina! <laughs> Welcome to fish. Hope you guys like fish. Hey, uh, I'm fish and you're part fish, so, uh, fish. the worst joke in the world. It's the worst joke and someone's, someone's bound to say at one point. I hope I'm not the first, but I kind of am the first. Consider it's a mermaid. And mermaids are mermaids. Does that mean they smell like fish? <laughs> I am the worst person alive right now. N nowhere remotely close to being worth for the line, but no, uh, that's pretty bad. That that's ill humor, but at the same time, it's a mythical creature. <laughs> yeah. Holy pants! You can like drop in a second. Yeah. Pump the water as you try to ride up on it. Do it. Treasure. War treasure. You, 
you, you probably. Fish! Let me get close to your face and feed it. Fish! 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 Just headbutt her right in the crotch! Oh. Damn it, game, why are you trying to stop the fun? Look how fast you swim! Fish! I wonder who's actually sick and tired of me saying fish like that. See the other one. Yeah, you're pink. You're hideous. Treasure. It's a fish treasure. Ow. You. Fish. How the hell are you wearing glasses underwater? How the hell is she wearing glasses underwater? How, how how does that work? I wanted to go to the house, please. Can I descend? I must find out if I'm the manliest fish that ever manned. I just want the fish! I want to swim up to the top. Let me poison myself by breathing air. Hey, we still got the belly mark. Oh my god. Let me go to very top of water so I can poison myself and kill myself so we can end game here. Oh! I want to poison myself. I, I may be having a little too much fun with this. Tavern. Hey, you're getting drunk. Fish. Fish. Not you. Fish babies. Oh my god, I can make it look like it. <laughs> I can kind of make it look like it too. Just put that like that. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having too much fun with the fish. Fish. Hold on, hold on. Can I, can I, no, I want to get back on her head. How do fish do it again? Yes. 
Damn. Let me get on her head. Finish! There. Now her head is covered with what whatever God. Most fish are male and female, aren't they? So technically it would be both or whatever. Or is that just clownfish? Oh god. Is that clownfish or is that all fish? Treasure! Oh, come on! Treasure. Everyone's staring at that fish butt. Fish butt. Fish butt. Everyone's gonna be staring at that fish butt. All day long. Fish butt. Hey, turtle! Wearing glasses. How does glasses, like, wouldn't that make your eyes and brain hurt more because of the water and how it is? Huh? I wanna play it! It's a shield, probably, but put some strings on there, and you got a harp. A gong. Turtle. Hey, uh, Turtle. Uh, why does it let me get close? I want to get on you, not beside you. Bird cage. Hey, uh, is that bird cage over there? I got an idea. We take your glasses, we throw them into the bird cage, you get in the bird cage, I let you out, I take your glasses again. Throw in this clam, then I throw a clam into the bird cage, and I'll put you in the bird cage, and it'll be like, oh, you need to get your glasses out, but you can't see because you need your glasses, so it'll be like free picking of glasses and pearls. Is that a shampoo bottle? That's a lamp. That's a toilet. I don't know what the hell that is. Lamp. Uh. Various objects. Also, that Canada Opera is upside down, isn't it? Yeah, that Canada Opera is totally upside down. A bullhorn. A bucket. Wouldn't this be like a sin for your people because of bucket? A churner. With a broom inside it, so it could be also like a makeshift like pot holder. Why, why is there a pillow? And like, only a pillow here. A globe. What the crap that is. A top hat? I want the top hat. Top hat. I am having way too much fun with this, by the way. An onk. It's not an onk, it's a... Crap. What, what, what? Uh, it's not an anchor, it's a... What do you tie the damn, uh rope to, like, your sailing and stuff. I don't know what it's called. Those seriously look what I, like, they look like, like what I think they look like. Yeah, that's weird. Is that a pot? Or is that a urn? Da-da-da fish! Fish. Take me up and poison me! Poison me! Da 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 fish! That looks like a turtle. You cannot tell me that does not look like a turtle from the top.
top down. Skewer yourself. I said, skewer yourself. No, do I? Yeah! What? Wait, what? On the pillar. On the pillar. Okay. I am... A hero that should not be named. But I see item! Item. What's in, is this the bar? Is this a bar? A bar. It is the bar. Just, just one more. One, 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 one more little. One more. One more. I am best person in the world when it comes to being dumb. What do you look like? Okay, get your get your fin back here. Good, you're not wearing glasses, you actually look pretty alright. Close. No. Let me touch you with my fish butt. No, fish butt will not be pleased until. Ow! Oh, that perception. Oh my god. Stop moving! I am trying to land on her head. Give me your head for a second, holy cow! Oh, I can't land on her head! I can't land on your head, either. I, mean, I kinda can. I like a foot off it though. So did anyone in chat hear my really bad taste joke? I hope at least one of you did, because it's really dumb. I'm kind of proud of myself for making it. You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds? Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. I say new fish. You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock. 
to see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Many troubled monks have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon as I told one of my mods in a, a Discord the joke. The field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. to fell the fiend and how your plans were vexed. Since last I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the queen beneath the waves. Behold the pearl of wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. Summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into the rain. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl, and you shall see what's come to pass there in your. The once fair land of Adria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the holy world tree fell. Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes, lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. Their days are filled with desperation, misery and tears. 
I see them quake and tremble, but I cannot calm their fears. Our homes are gone. Our families and friends, too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep... We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. <gasps> Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. <sighs> the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. A man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. Yggdrasil has crashed to earth. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. Elizarin, the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordegon's detestable creations. I cast a spell to hold him back, but needed to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall, and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one.
curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fates, dark plan, and yet you've weathered every blow, prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. There's hope for people still. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the world tree's will. Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks! Shadow's followers give fond farewell short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. <sighs> Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. You're the luminary. We believe in you. Citizens of Nordica, give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. You know what? I'm gonna call it here for tonight. No one's really here. No one's really gonna be talking. Next save point. Next save point we hit. I'm gonna stop. I, I just. It's a mix of I don't want to do it, and it's a mix of once again no one's really talking. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Soaked himself a biggin. Could it be the legendary man eating mackerel? Let's reel him in and. <laughs> yes! I caught something! I actually caught something! Blue John's gonna eat tonight! <sighs> Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. Who, who, who 
who the heck are you? And uh, um, what are you doing on the end of my hook? I don't care how hungry you are, you don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. <laughs> hey, now. Don't cry, sonny. <laughs> Look, I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. So listen, Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk have gotta look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world, but it'll do you for a day or two. When you're ready, you can head over to the last bastion. They'll see you right. The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Right, now that's decided. Let's head for shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get... Okay. Oh god, when do we get a save point? I guess not for a while. yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Blue John would say good morning. But there ain't no morning to speak of these days. You hadn't noticed? Why, we've seen nothing but dark sky since the day of the disaster. There was an almighty booming and rumbling. And then great Gouts of blackness started billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. That ain't good. We better hide, and fast. Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the blackness. The rotters seem to think they own the place. They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And there Blue John was, thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh, seems the victuals round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spawn. That hero feller will look after you, I'm sure. He's a good one, that one. A spark of hope in these dark holes. Steer a course due west until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Yeah, I know where we're going. I've pl I played this game so many times that this is up to this point. So, enemies are now generally, I think... I think the last time you see enemies, they're roughly level 25 or so. These things are like level 30s. Like, low 30s, mid 30 levels. And I'm like, okay, yep. But seriously, tomorrow we'll pick up where we left off today. I, I really, I wish I, I could keep going, but yeah, there's like no one on, and I just don't want to bore myself. Cause I, this game is kind of boring, and I'm playing for like th two or three hours. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.